General Motors made an announcement today that might leave many people shaking their heads. The company signed an agreement with Honda to work together to build cars and technology. Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney is live downtown tonight with what exactly is going on here. Hi, Rod. Well, Kimberly, uh, a friend of mine, his name is Dave Cole, a very well-known auto analyst over the years, has said it's called coopetition. In other words, car companies that perhaps don't compete head to head can work together to save money. And that's precisely what General Motors is doing with a surprise entry, Honda. We really should have seen this coming. Last April, GM agreed to work with Honda on next generation electric vehicles powered by GM's Ultium battery packs. Today's announcement takes that to the next level with a non-binding memorandum of understanding, creating a North American automotive alliance to develop advanced and next generation technologies. They will share common vehicle platforms, electrified and internal combustion propulsion, meaning that some vehicles will be GM underneath with Honda bodies on top. Engineering begins in early 2021. GM President Mark Roy said today, quote, given our strong track record of collaboration, the companies would realize significant synergies in the development of today's vehicle portfolio, end quote. Auto trader analyst Michelle Krebs says the industry is changing before our eyes. All of the automakers know that eventually electrification, autonomous vehicles, connectivity will be our way of life. However, that's far off in the future, but they've got to make investments now. And those investments are huge, and there's no payback anytime soon. So if you want electric cars and connectivity like OnStar, you partner. And Honda was not thought of as a likely candidate for that. It's been a standalone, kind of like BMW, just a really standalone company. But the way, the, future, the way we're headed in the future, it's probably not possible for them to take this all on by themselves. Now, it's not like this is new. There have been dabbling in these kinds of things. And if you remember the Saturn View, that car, actually uh, much of the underneath, the underpinnings of that car were Honda. So General Motors has done this before, but not to the scale. And they have a lot riding on this because they're hoping for millions upon millions in savings. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.